Hi guys and welcome to my new series on my YouTube channel. I am deciding to bulk, so if you don't know what that is, it's basically just gaining muscle mass. So I'm going to be gaining weight, which is opposite to what I've tried to do my entire life, so it's going to be a little bit interesting. I realized like I didn't have as much muscle mass as I wanted to. So basically I am starting from scratch and I'm just going to reverse diet um, and I'm going to increase my caloric intake and basically just lift really, really heavy and get my muscle that I want. Um, over the winter months and then in the summer months I'm going to cut and basically do what I was doing previously and then seeing like more definition and hopefully having more muscle that I am happy with uh, and if you haven't subscribed already hit that button and then you can follow my bulking journey um, just to give you some quick stats I'm currently 137 pounds uh, my body fat is 30.6 and my muscle is 63.1% so this is a scale I bought, it was kind of cheap, so I'm not sure if it's super accurate, but that is what I've used this entire time. So I'm gonna continue to use it. If you like seeing this kind of stuff, then give this video a like, so it lets me know. Um, and then going forward, I'm gonna, yeah, show you my day. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Throughout the series, I will be showing you body updates um, as I get a little fluffier. So I wanted to show you my current body state so that you have something to go off of of where I started. So as far as like arm muscle, like I've never really had any like definition or anything, especially in this arm. It's my weak arm. A um, back. So yeah, so I'm presuming um, like my legs are gonna get a lot thicker. Um, actually, I should probably show you my legs. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, hold on. So a tip that I use for a scale um, is I zero it out and I actually place the entire package or bag on the scale and I wait for it to load and then I zero it out. And then what I do is I actually take the mango or whatever it is out and then whatever it is by, it'll say like a minus, um, then I know that's 26 grams. Just rather than doing it the other way around, I find that easier and less messy. It has been about a week and a half since I filmed the footage that you just watched. Um, I am going to weigh myself to see how much weight I've gained since then. So let's check this out. Woo! 142.6! Honestly, I have been feeling thick, let me tell you. And like, honestly I kind of like the look of it, but then it's hard because it's like you're working out so mentally you're telling yourself like I should be like getting smaller so it's kind of like opposite to what I've I don't know like thought of the whole time I don't know if that makes sense but the only difficulty I'm having right now is the fact that I am so over chicken and rice it's like chicken and rice chickpeas and rice everything with rice so surprise chicken and rice I just got back from the gym I did legs and I'm freaking hungry. If I can open this lid with one hand, that'd be cool. There we go. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm so hungry. But I find that because I'm like so sick of chicken and rice, every time I eat it, I do this thing where I'm like, oh, so good. So I tell myself it's so good because it's not really that good. But if I tell myself that as I'm eating it, I'll just be like, I don't know. I'll just be over it sooner than I want to be. So, I don't know what else I'm looking for. Does anyone ever do that where you're like waiting for food? You have food coming in like a minute, but you're just like looking. So anyways, so I'm really enjoying the journey so far. I really like the workout portion of it just because I have so much more energy with a lot of carbs. And I love like that feeling of it, but it's just hard to get used to. And I mean like mentally oh my food's ready mentally it's like oh you're working out every day like you feel like you should be getting smaller so that part throws me off but it's like my legs are the first thing to gain muscle so like those are as expected but i have definitely noticed a lot of like differences in my arms and stuff and my shoulders like um my collarbones just like pop a little bit more and i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. uh so that was fun and then yeah i did chest yesterday and like honestly, chest is something I just avoided kind of altogether. I don't know why, it's just one of those things I just didn't. It was like 
back and then legs and then abs and cardio and I've just like skipped it. I don't know why, don't ask me. Um, so now, it's not being skipped. I'm gonna get my foot. So overall, it's pretty cool. Um, it's just a lot more meal prep and stuff just because like say for example, I'm going to the Niagara region like with Kyle this weekend. So, I like basically have McDonald's or Tim Hortons as an option. And I mean, yeah, those are high in carbs, but it's also like not good for me either. So like, I'm not just eating just to eat. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'll have two Whoppers to get the calories in. Like I want it to be whole foods and things that are healthy. So yeah, but, oh, so good. I'm not even lying to myself. It's actually really good. Anyways, that is my update.